Okay, so on Monday through Thursday, to feed these trays of large larvae, you use the one fourth teaspoon scoop and get about an even scoop of fish through the level scoop. Sometimes if there's a lot of larva in a tray, I'll do like a little bit more than even. So like this much. As you can see, that's not quite even. But you don't want to give them much more than that because they just can't handle eating that much and it will like suck people and they'll die and they'll come in the next morning to a bunch of dead larva, which is not ideal. So you just do that for every tray. And then for the small larva, you also feed them ground up fish food every day, Monday through Thursday. But they get the small scoop, so they get the one and eight teaspoon scoop. So for them, up here, we have four trays of them because we split them yesterday. So they get an even scoop of the small one. And they will be all good until tomorrow. Okay, so for feeding the adult mosquitoes on Mondays through Fridays, you need sugar water that's labeled and in the fridge in the main lab. And if there's not a bottle in the fridge, there's always bottles up here that are labeled and the PABA is attached to them already pre-measured. So then to add this to them, you dissolve it in 20 mils of ethanol and then make sure it's fully dissolved, pour it into the main bottle, label this when the PABA was added, like this one, PABA added 92120 and then initial it and then it's ready to go. Um, so basically you just wet cotton balls with sugar water so that they're soaked but not um, like leaking. And then the cotton balls are up here. So I like to put about six in a small Petri dish and you have to make sure you feed the main cage and also any in experimental cages. So the main cage, I give one full Petri dish dish of cotton balls and then for every large cage that's an experimental cage I give them two cotton balls per cage and if it's a small cage I give them one because you're gonna come in tomorrow and replace these so they only need enough sugar water for 24 hours so as you can see these are wet to touch but not sopping wet so that they're gonna drip down into the cage and hurt the mosquitoes. So those all look good. So then you take them back to the main lab and separate them.